Hi everyone, I'm Ori Cohen, one of the engine programmers here at Epic Games. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about the physics asset tool, so I figured I should make this uh, video series to show you how to use it. Um, we're going to be using the third person template for this, so you should you should have that. Uh, and I'll just browse for it here just so you can see it'll be under uh, the templates third person. So open that up. And uh, in this, this video, I'm just going to give a, a quick overview of what we're going to be doing, and you can you can follow along with it uh, sort of as you'd like. So when you open this up, you can see if you hit play, uh, we have this guy that's running around. Uh, so we actually have this skeletal mesh, and uh, you know maybe you want to make a ragdoll out of this. So the way you do it is you right click and you go uh, create physics asset, uh, and I won't really talk about this too much uh, for now. Just hit OK. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And it, this will bring up the physics asset tool, or FAT, as it's called. Um, so my goal with these with these videos is to actually go through and properly set up a ragdoll. You can follow along as you like. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how to actually move around in this tool. Uh, and just to give you a little bit of history, this tool is is quite old. Uh, and we are actually planning to, to move a lot of this into Persona. Uh, but for the time being, I still think there's value in, in showing how to actually use this. So the, the first thing you'll notice is we have our skeletal mesh and uh, there's these kind of blue uh, capsules that are around him. And what happened is uh, fat automatically creates these capsules to try and create rigid bodies for, for the guy. So you can actually uh, move around and click on them. Uh, you can move with the left mouse, right mouse. It's all the, the usual stuff. Uh, you actually get this hierarchy here where you can see all the all the different bones. Uh, and you'll notice that some of the bones are actually bold and some of them are not. So for example, uh, in the hand here, there's a whole bunch of, uh, I think these are fingers. You can see that we didn't actually assign a body for these fingers. So uh, that's that's what the, the bold versus not bold is. And you can actually uh, change this filter here. So bones with bodies. So you, know, you don't have this, this giant tree of bones you don't care about. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's also the body mode. So right now we're, we're in the rigid body mode. We can, if we hit W, we can move these around. We can scale them, and rotate them, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, if you to click on body, you can actually change it into constraint mode. So now you can see uh, all the different constraints between the, the bodies. And I'm gonna go over uh, more in, in depth on what this actually means, uh, but that's, that's just the, the two different modes that you can be in. Uh, the other thing that you can do is uh, there's a bunch of settings here. So if you, if you deselect, there's a, a bunch of settings like uh, gravity uh, and, and stuff like that. Uh, and there's also different simulation modes. So uh, I'm going to hit simulate. This is probably going to look horrible because it's not set up correctly. Yeah, so you can see there's some funny behavior here. Uh, if, if I do that, I can, if I hold control, and then I click and drag, right click, I can move the guy around. Uh, you can see there's there's some uh, pretty weird stuff going on. We'll actually go through and fix all that. Um, and if I hit simulate, I can stop. Uh, I can actually simulate with no gravity if I want. This is kind of useful for, for different things. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to go through some of that. And in the next video, we'll start actually going through and uh, adding these bodies one at a time and, and learning a little bit more about what all these things mean. So thanks. I uh, hope you stay tuned. Bye.